some Walt class destroyer in April 2016, the U.S. Naval Institute stated the total cost of the three Zumwalt ships is about $22.5 billion with research and development costs, which is an average of $7.5 billion per ship. The second ship, Michael Monsoor, was commissioned in 2019, and the third ship, Lyndon B. Johnson, was to have reached IOC in 2021. Ships in class in April 2006, the Navy announced plans to name the first ship of the class Zumwalt after former Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Elmo R. Budd Zumwalt J.R. The vessel's hull number would be DDG-1000, which abandoned the guided missile destroyer sequence used by the Arleigh Burke class destroyers, and continued the previous gun destroyer sequence from the last of the Spruance class, Haler. The U.S. Naval Institute stated the original design of the ship would have had a much smaller RCS, but cost considerations prompted the Navy over the last several years to make the traits in increasing RCS to save money, to improve detection in non-combat situations by other vessels, such as traversing busy shipping channels or operating in inclement weather, the Navy is testing adding onboard reflectors to improve the design's radar visibility. The class's role was to provide naval surface fire support, which requires the ship to be in typically crowded near shore waters, where such large and distinctive ships can be tracked visually, and any surface ship becomes non-stealthy when it begins firing guns or missiles. The stability of this hull form in high sea states has caused debate among naval architects, with some charging that with the waves coming at you from behind, when a ship pitches down, it can lose transverse stability as the stern comes out of the water and basically roll over. Advanced Gun System The advanced gun system is a 155mm naval gun, two of which are installed in each ship. The America-class amphibious assault ships starting with LHA-8 and the planned LX, R, class amphibious warfare ships will also have this radar. In April 2007, Naval architect Ken Brower said, as a ship pitches and heaves at sea, if you have tumble home instead of a flare, you have no riding energy to make the ship come back up. On the DDG-1000, with the waves coming at you from behind, when a ship pitches down, it can lose transverse stability as the stern comes out of the water, and basically, roll over. The Navy decided not to use a tumble home hull in the CG, X, cruiser before the program was cancelled, which may suggest that there were concerns regarding Zumwalt's sea-keeping abilities. During an interview, Captain Andrew Carlson, the commanding officer of USS Zumwalt at the time, related all told I'd rather be on that ship than any other ship I've been on. According to Captain Carlson, during the storm, he summoned his executive officer from his cabin to inform him of the sea state 6 conditions, 09C0EA1B3698, 